chairman of the House Committee on Education and Workforce and Congresswoman of Virginia Fox of North Carolina. She joins me now. Uh, Congresswoman, you were there. You saw this play out. Uh, you laid an ultimatum out there as well. Can you discuss that a little bit further? Well, we want uh, the president and the board of trustees to get control of what's happening at Columbia. The Jewish students there, are, some of them are not even able to stay on campus. They can't study. They feel threatened for their lives, and they have to get control. As we said, the inmates are in charge of the asylum there at Columbia, and that's unacceptable. A lot of taxpayer dollars are going into Columbia, and we think that there should be a safe environment for all students, but particularly the Jewish students. We have all these threats. They're calling for intifada. They're saying uh, to pointing uh, signs at the students and saying, you're next, mm -hmm. pointing signs at Jewish students saying, you're going to be next. And this is unacceptable. They have to get control of this campus. And I don't understand what they're negotiating just tell the students to pack up their tents and leave. Yeah. And, and I mean, there are calls for President Shafiq there to step down. Uh, do you believe that she should? And has she lost the trust of the Jewish students on campus? None of them feel safe. Should she step down? Well, she certainly lost the trust of the Jewish students on campus. I've not called for her resignation. Others have called for a resignation because our committee is in the midst of an investigation. And I'm reluctant to go ahead and um, say what the investigation that the investigation is over because it isn't. We're gathering information. We haven't got gotten the high quality of information that we need from Columbia. We want to know what they've done. They've said that they're suspending students, but yet those students are back on campus. They say they have suspended faculty, but we are not sure of that. We want all the facts before we make a decision on the committee as to what to call for. It's a very um, complicated situation in some ways. That is, we want to have the facts. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, president told us things we found out later were not true. And that's we want to make sure that we can document that. And as we go through the investigation, then we'll make a decision as to what action specifically we call for. But my call now is to make the Jewish students feel safe, get rid of the threats, make all students feel safe, bring the campus back to norm, whatever they would consider normal. Yeah, every student should have that right to feel safe on campus. One of your colleagues, though, in Congress had this to say on Newsmax. Watch this. What we need to see here in the next few days is we need uh, to see the president of Columbia resign. Enough is enough. She get, she's, she's negotiating with people who are being praised by terrorists. So Congressman there, D'Esposito, was saying that, that she should resign. We, we just talked about that. But we also had the NYPD on here earlier today. And they're at this odds right now with the university. They're willing to step in if they need to. But they've been told to stand down and monitor the situation. Do you feel that the NYPD should be brought in again? Oh, absolutely. The president, though, brought them in once, and evidently she got a lot of pushback, particularly from faculty. It was the first time that the police had been on the campus uh, since the 1960s. You know, they have no police on the campus. They have a security force. They're not allowed to touch anybody. They're not allowed to arrest anyone. They don't wear guns. Uh, this is a terrible situation that they've gotten themselves into at Columbia. As, as I've said before, as long as there are no consequences to these people, students or faculty, you're not going to see them change their behavior. There need to be consequences to these students and the faculty for their bad behavior. And exchanging one president for another one doesn't necessarily change the situation. We need a person with backbone. I've said that over and over again. It, very few of these college presidents have any backbone. They won't make a decision. They're scared of their shadow. They don't know what the faculty is going to do. They've got a faculty senate. They have deans. They have a very complicated 
Um, Congressman, do you believe that, that, that the student aid, or the money coming in from the federal level to the school itself, should that be temporarily suspended through all of this to get this sorted out? If we could do that, I certainly would do that. What I'm worried about is where is the money coming from to fund what's happening? I think that we have to have an accounting. All those tents were brand new, look alike. Where is that money coming from? We know Columbia is getting uh, billions in taxpayer dollars, right. but where is the money coming from to fuel these nefarious actions on the part of the students and perhaps the faculty? What, what do you make of all of these students that aren't protesting? They're staying out of this. They've paid big money to be at this Ivy League school, and now they can't go to graduation. They're stuck doing remote learning. How is that fair to these students? It isn't fair, and I really feel sorry for the students. They and their parents have paid big bucks. I doubt there will be a graduation at Columbia. Other schools have canceled their graduation. Many of these students came through the COVID problem. They didn't get to graduate from high school, and now many of them won't be able to graduate from college, which is a big event for people. And so this is totally unfair to the other students. And that's why I keep saying there need to be consequences for the bad behavior. You cannot allow a small group of students to ruin the lives of the majority of the students there at Columbia. And that's where I think the administration is making a mistake. You can't kowtow to a minority and, and then um, not have consequences for the administration. And speaking of the left, they're not making the situation any better. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez not only visited the campus, she criticized the NYPD for how they handled the situation with the students. Are, are the Democrats fanning the flame and causing an even deeper divide here? Absolutely, and they don't believe in law enforcement. And that's what helps keep us a civil society. We are a civil society. We're the greatest nation on the earth. And part of it is because we have laws and we abide by those laws. And the police force helps us when there's a dispute in those right. laws or when someone breaks the laws. So yes, the left is very wrong in this way.